what are those claims that she's uh, making right now and how much uh, you know there is falsehood in that and how much of truth there is in that we'll try and look at closely what's the first claim that she's making she said in one of her interviews now that a friend told her about uh, her recourse a legal recourse of approaching the court of arbitration for sports cash and it wasn't the Indian authorities to that count I must say that what she's claiming is right so if you remember that entire scenario happened and it was Vinish Fogart herself that approached Cass as an athlete and if you remember there were four lawyers that were appointed by uh, the Paris Olympic authorities that were there for all athletes they were actually fighting the case for her so if uh, you know there is any sort of confusion as in Indian government or uh, Indian Olympic Association or sports authority of India they actually said no we must fight for uh, Vinish Fogart that there was no truth to it that is exactly what we've been reporting and if she claims that a friend told her about it and she on her own accord approached the authorities that is correct nothing wrong in that however there is a catch in that I must tell you uh, that does not mean that the Indian authorities weren't with her all throughout they had to back her as well you needed uh, the Indian Olympic Association also to back her and the initial appeal that she sent even though she decided to take the legal recourse it was also signed by the Indian Olympic Association so they were backing her in all of this so this claim made by Vinish now in her interviews is partly correct okay what's the next claim that she's making she's saying if the case was fought better she would have been awarded that medal that's the other uh, claim that she has and I think nothing could be further away from the truth I think everything that you did you did it and if you read that verdict very closely which I have the 15 page verdict that came it is pretty clear that you know no matter how you fought the case no matter what you did uh, no matter who you had as uh, you know legal people fighting the result would have been pretty much the same because there is no past precedent there was there's never been a case where Cass has overturned a verdict if the rules have been followed yes if there were loopholes in the ru rules or if something that the rule book had not addressed or if the rules were not followed if there was something like that then she would have got some sort of relief but there have been no cases in the past where the rules have been followed and the decision has been overturned so for Vinish to now say that if the case was fought better medal would have been awarded is a complete hogwash the four uh, lawyers that were fighting on our behalf obviously gave it their best uh, you had you know the smartest minds that work uh, uh, in a in a legal entity called Krida legal that work in sport led by Vidushpat Singhania one of the finest brains in uh, you know when it comes to cases related to sports all of them work towards this Harish Salve he needs no introduction a legal eagle that you have all of them fought this case to, to, there was no other way that you could have fought this case better as she claimed I think everything was done uh, in terms of fighting that case just that you know there was there were rules she was on the wrong side of the rules and the verdict came as was being expected in fact the the fact that they took more than that 24 hour deadline which they seldom do cast and pushed it to three four days just tells you that the legal fight was good it at least forced the court to look at it very closely scrutinize it even more closely eventually uh, there was no way out for Vinish so this claim of her is completely wrong in the interviews that she's giving right now third claim third and the final claim that she's making in her interviews now after having joined a political party she says government and sporting bodies made it an ego issue and treated it as Vinish's medal and not India's medal so somewhere she's saying that oh you know because it was Vinish it was some other athlete they would have uh, you know being supporting her or fighting for her and ensuring that she wins a medal it's because I was Vinish because I took on the government they treated me differently again nothing could be further away from the truth I was there in Paris followed this case very closely I saw all that went into behind the scenes I must tell you also and, and kudos to uh, it's not a lot of times that we uh, you know praise administrators more often than not we journalists are always nitpicking and sometimes scrutinizing their uh, you know their acts or their decisions but in this case I must tell you that all the backing that she needed she was given uh, even though she had her four lawyers that she had picked herself 
I know this for a fact that the Indian Olympic Association, Sports Authority of India, as well as a few, uh, you know, prominent people from the government were all putting their heads together and that's how you had Vidushpad Singhania from Krida Legal and Hari Salve also come into the case to make Vinish's case stronger. I don't think there was anybody in this country, whether they were from the ruling party, whether they were from the sporting bodies that were against Vinish Fogart. In fact, everyone was very empathetic towards her. Everyone was ensuring that she's, you know, looked after. I'll tell you as a media man, there were a lot of people that I spoke to who could have given us access to Vinish to speak to her, but they were all safeguarding her saying, no, leave her alone, she needs to be looked after. I gave you an example of Chef de Mission spending close to two days with her and treating her as a top-level athlete and an Indian athlete. So I think everyone that was present there, even though I must tell you, Vinish took a few decisions unilaterally. She did not involve Indian Olympic Association. She did not involve the Sports Authority of India. But everyone that I could think of tried to back her, tried to help her out. Unfortunately, the case was such that there was no way that she was going to win it. So these are her latest claims we just showed you and we tried to again as we did earlier as well uh, try to separate fact from fiction and we've uh, attempted at doing that for the second time.